from fees must fall movements and now to lawmakers. Three activists were sent to the National Assembly and Provincial Legislatures. Uh, Vats graduate Nompendulom Kachwa and Vuyani Pambo are heading to Parliament. 25-year-old Fasi Hassan will occupy a seat in Gauteng's legislature. Let's take a look. October 2015, a turning point for South Africa's higher education system. The fees must fall fight, quickly snowballing into national dissent. In quick succession, campuses across the country brought to a standstill. Tempers fled and infrastructure destroyed. Police, seen as villains, had their hands full. But students remained fearless and unrelenting. Amanda! Amanda! Viva Mpundi! Viva! This chant epitomized the struggle. And three years later, the pages have turned. Three young activists are now donning political cloaks. Mkachwa and Pambo are off to Parliament. I'm nervous, obviously. I think there's a mountainous task ahead. But Fasiha Hassan's voice will be heard in Gauteng legislature. Us entering into both Parliament, legislature, etc., is not definitely not a personal or an individual victory. Um, it's more something where every single young person needs to celebrate. It's a five-year administration and it needs planning. We've already started discussions and talks about how we can galvanize as young people, um, but I really think that we're starting to see a change and I think we're going to see that change in mainstream politics especially. Their peers remain hopeful. What we expect them to do is to carry on um, the movements, the Fees Must Fall movements, the change in the education system. They will bring in that level of experience rather than having people that are sitting in parliament and sleeping there. So it does give us a lot of hope that a lot of our concerns are going to be answered. But central to the youth agenda, free education and unemployment crisis. My expectation of them is that they will do the best that they can to really push the agenda in relation to those matters. And of course, it's going to be a learning process for them. When we are on the ground as activists, we are able to agitate as much as we can. But now they're going to learn more about the bureaucracy behind the scenes that probably impedes most of the demands that we had either as student activists or even during you know, other forms of protest that we've seen out there. But for them, there will be challenges key to these challenges is really the question of how do they avoid being part of the furniture, being part of the dead wooden parliament. Statues and fees have crumbled, but the mission is not yet accomplished. The resistance project has seeds reserved in the big house. You know when we talked about kicking down the door uh, and forcing our way in as young people, it's happening. And the voice of the youth will be louder this time. And it's also characteristic of the new revolution. Mark Gaitlamatabe, SABC News, Johannesburg.